Right, so every time we come on Zoom for the first part of our day, we'll always start with math. That'll be our first lesson, and then we'll go into writing, and then we'll go into phonics. That's for our first half of the day, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with math. You have a piece of paper and pencil ready, Asa, with you? You have a loose oh, pencil. Sheet of paper? Okay, and you have a sheet of paper as well, like writing uh, paper? What game we right now? Okay, are your books in or not yet? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. So do you have your writing book? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we'll need that on today as well. We're learning cursive letter E, but you also need some paper to write with. So I'll give you a minute to get that. Just give, just let me know when you have it. Okay. Okay. Miss Bridget, I have it. Okay, good. Make sure you pay attention and don't make me have to come here. Okay. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with math. So we have a couple of things we'll learn this week in math. One being we are going to practice counting this week, uh, which I know we know how to do that, but just as a refresher. So the lessons are really easy this week. It'll kind of remind you of K-5. A little bit. We'll learn our number words this week. We actually have a test on that on Thursday. Your number words from one all the way to 20, how to read them and identify which number goes with which. That's what we'll be doing on this week. But before we get started with our math, I want to practice some counting. So let's go ahead. If you could stand for me, let's practice counting from one all the way to 50 today. One to 50. Can anybody everybody do that? All right. So on three. So try to stay in routine with everybody. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, yeah, that's the one. Okay, that's what we'll be working in when we do letter P. Okay, I just wanted to make sure everybody had it. Okay. All right, so we're actually going to start with writing. Does anybody have that book yet or not yet? Not yet? Okay, that's okay. You can practice on a little sweet sheet of paper for me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Recording in progress. Awesome. Good job. Good job. So now that we can say it, I want to see if you can write it. So Asa, if you have a loose, if you have your paper ready, we're writing our numbers from one all the way to 50. Okay. I want to see, I'm looking for like five people that can get that done first. I don't know who the five going to be. All right. So you can get started one through 50. When you're done, Asa, just let me know.
Emmy, let's put your turn done. You're done? Let me see. Because we're going to add to that on tomorrow. So we were eventually going to get to 100, okay? So tomorrow. Oh, did you go... say Miss Romar? Miss Fugins, Ms. that's okay. Um, I said keep your paper. Don't you have a folder that you can keep it in? Or maybe just put it on the side somewhere, okay? So keep this paper because tomorrow we're going to add 51 to 100, okay? Okay. All right, awesome. So good job, Asa and Tevin and David and Braley. They finished all the way in Cairo. Good job. Everyone finished. Awesome. All right, so now let's go ahead and move into our number words. So I know that we already know how to do this because you guys are extremely smart. And Ms. Romar told me, she said this, they're like great kids. That's so smart. But we just kind of have to review it just before we get into like our actual lessons. We just have to review it before we do that, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, so I have them here on the board, your number words. Hold on, I'm trying to get it to where you can see it and it's not right. Can you see it, Asa? Mm-hmm. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and look at our number words, how to spell them, okay? Because it's gonna be important that as we're in second, as we're in first grade, we have to know how to spell the actual number words because they won't always be written down as the number. Like if you won't always see an eight, you'll have to know how to read the actual number eight, okay? Or say if it's 20, whatever number it is, you'll have to know how to read that actual number. So. Let's look at these here that I have up here. Okay, so we're gonna start, I'm gonna try to go out of order just to see how much of them you know. It's too bright. Can you push your chair in here? I'm fixing it for you so that it's not too, too bright. Okay, is that better? Should be. Okay, all right, so let's start with, if you know it, please raise your hand, okay? Let's start with this one. That's an easy one. Can anybody tell me which number word would this one be? What you have, Micah? Six. six. Good. This is number six. Awesome. Okay, let's see this one. Okay, Asa, what you have? Three. Three. Awesome. Good. Okay, uh, let's try this one here. Nine. Nine. Good. Okay, um, let's see, try this one. Two. Two, good. Here. Kendall? Five. Five, awesome. Let's see, oh, this is the hard one. Yeah. Oh, I already yeah. know that one, so. This one, this one, this one, yeah. Okay, Cairo, help them out. Eight. Eight, yep, eight. Okay, what about this one here? Now, this one is easy. Hey, so you want to tell me this one? Yeah. Okay. One. One, awesome. Okay, this one here? Four, good. This one? Okay. Seven. Seven. Then we have one left, and that will be number. Everybody can tell me. Ten. ten. Awesome. Number ten. Awesome. So these are our number words, one through ten. So we're going to look at it. We're going to spell it. We're going to say the word, spell it, and then say it again. So that means I would say one, O-N-E, one. That's exactly what we'll do when we get to spelling a little later on today, okay? So again, so what's the number? One, one let's spell it. O-N-E, one. Next one, two, two. T-W-O, two. Next one, three, three. T-S-R-E-E, -E. three. three, four, F-O-U-R, four, five. F I B E. 
transition from math and now we're going to go into writing so that's it for math we did our number words we practiced counting and we wrote our numbers one through 50 very basic lesson today now we'll move on to writing so asa if you have your handwriting book you can get that out for me your cursive letters book <clears throat> Remember, no books to do, stay, and remember when you're talking about that. Okay, you have it, Asa, your letter E? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, Y'all can put that on B side. No, I'm sorry, A. A side. Let's see who is listening. That's what I'm looking for. On A side. Uh -huh. Make sure it goes all the way on the side so that we can go to it. All right, second so grade. So we're finished with letter E. You'll need a little sleep paper now because we're moving on to language. And I need you to write down the definition that we're practicing today. Okay. We'll get you a sheet of paper, however, but just make sure you keep track of it, okay? So you, you don't lose it, whatever paper you decide. If you don't have a, a tablet, it would be great. If you need a tablet or a binder, that will be great because we'll be adding on a lot of things. So just to keep track of all your papers, okay? Okay, you need your letter E. And open the folders. Let me see. All right, you have it, um, Asa, letter E? Yes, ma'am. We're just get we're getting it in person. We're just taking a little long, but we're getting it in here. Letter E, guys. It'll be on B side. Awesome. Good job. Thank you. Yes, when you get it, you can take it out, close your folder, and put it away. Make sure your papers are neat. Miss Fugent? Yes. Are you going to write now? Uh not not right now. I want to do it on the board a little bit and then we'll I'll let you work on the page. 
Okay. Yeah, we're just we're we're getting it in person. We're learning, so we'll take a little while sometimes. Okay. Be patient, okay? Yeah, be patient. Don't worry about this. It's just you and me at home, so it's easier for me, okay? She's teaching two classes, so give it time. Listen. Yes, sir. Um, I think we can do it Is All right, so today we're learning cursive letter E, lowercase letter E specifically, okay? All right, so I know this is a letter that we're familiar with, right? Yeah, some of us have E's in our name. Some of us don't, but some of us do have in lower, a lowercase E in our name. So E is pretty easy, pretty simple. Like I said, this is just a refresher. I know Ms. Romar taught you all of the letters already. But this is just so we can get a second gear of making sure we know every letter, how to write it properly. And also because in first grade, we start to write on loose leaf paper. So you have your line paper now, right now. But eventually, as we get into further into the school year, we're going to move on to loose leaf paper. And because of that, we have to know how to write the letters even without the lines, okay? So letter E, of course, we'll start on this bottom line here. I have it blue, it's actually red, but it starts on the bottom line here. So first thing letter do, I know Ms. Romar uses different words than I do. I just give it to you the first grade version, okay? So we start on our bottom line here for letter E. We start down here. First thing we'll do, can you see me, Asa? Yeah? You can, yeah, you can see, okay. First thing you do is you're gonna curve up all the way to your middle line. You're gonna loop, curve all the way down, touch the bottom line, and then you curve up. And that's your letter E. Again, you're gonna curve up, loop down, touch the bottom line, curve up, and that is your letter E. Okay, who knew that already? Did y'all really? Yeah. Okay, that's what you say. Then that's what you say. So yeah, so this is lowercase letter E. So you can go ahead and start with number one at the top of your page. Start start at number one at the top of your page. Oh, let me let me say it again. Start at number one at the top of your page. Okay, thank you. Yes. It's important to listen to instructions and not just move because you think you know what to do, but no, it's important to listen so that you know what to do. So thank you for those who adjusted. So yeah, start with your warm up at the top and let me know when you're finished with your warm up. Asa, when you're finished with the warm up at the top, just show it to me on the screen, okay? And okay. then I'll let you know when you can move to the bottom. Okay. What's the difference between a sentence and a phrase, okay? All right. Okay, so as you can see here, I have those words right underneath letter E. I have the word sentence and I have the word phrase, okay? 
These mm -hmm. are important to know over the course of the school year because you'll have to know when you're actually writing a sentence and when you're actually writing a phrase. And eventually when you move on to second grade next year, you're gonna have to know the two parts of a sentence in order to create a full sentence. But this year we only do the basics of sentence writing, but you know. No, we can finish it after this. Pay attention. Okay, so we have the word sentence here, and I'm going to explain what a sentence is. Now, I know that we, we're probably all familiar with what a sentence with what a sentence is, um, but I'm going to give you the actual definition of what a sentence is. So, a sentence is a group of words that express a complete thought. That is the full definition of what a sentence is. Now, we, don't, we will not have to know this necessarily at the moment, uh, but this is what a sentence means. It means it's a group of words that we put together that express a complete thought. What I mean by complete thought is that everything that I thought in my mind, I can say it out loud, and I also can write it down, okay? That is what's important with, with sentence writing. It's a lot of times we can say it, but we also have to know how to write it down. And that's what we'll be practicing all school year is how to build sentences. So a sentence has two parts to it. It has a who and a what. What I mean by who, it means who are we talking about in the sentence? And what, what is going on? If I would say the ball, the ball is blue. What was I talking about in the sentence? The what? The ball. And what did I tell you about the ball? That it was blue. blue. That's a complete sentence because why? I told you what I was, I gave a who, which in this case is the ball. And then I told you what about the ball? That it was blue. So that's a complete sentence. Now, if I would only say is blue, you would be like, what? What are you talking about is blue? I don't know what that means. Well, that's not a sentence. That is what we call a phrase. But anyway, before we get into a phrase, a sentence has to answer two questions. It has to answer the who and the what. So if I would say Tom rode the bus to school, that means I gave you the who. Tom, what did Tom do? Roll the bus to school. That's a full sentence. Do y'all understand what I am saying? Yes. A full sentence will answer the question of who we're talking about and what is going on. Now, if I would only give you the who and I would say, Aunt Jane, that's not a sentence, right? I gave you a who, but I didn't give you a what she's doing. That would be called a phrase. A phrase, on the other hand, is a little different. A phrase is a part of a sentence, okay? A phrase is only part of a sentence. It's not complete. You'll be left with questions after a phrase. If I would say caught the ball, you'll be like, caught the ball, right? Does that make sense if I would just say caught the ball? No, that doesn't make sense? Not really, no. So that is a phrase. A phrase is only a part of the sentence. A phrase is only part of the sentence. It is not a complete sentence. A sentence will tell you the who and the what is going on. The phrase only tells you part of it. You'll be left with questions. You'll be like, well, I don't understand. And if you don't understand, then that means it was not a complete sentence. So for example, if I would say, I ran. Is that a sentence? No. no. I, I did give you a who and what I did, but I ran what? I ran where? You see what you see what I'm saying? That's not a complete sentence because I'm not giving you everything that was done. That would simply be a phrase. If I would say I ran in the park, now is that a complete sentence? Yes. Yeah, because you have the who, me, I, and what did I do? Ran in the park. Do you see the difference between a sentence and a phrase? Yeah? So listen to this. If I would say, 
the girl. Would that be a sentence or a phrase? A phrase. A phrase, right? Because the girl what? How could I finish that? Could somebody finish that for me? The girl. Somebody finish it? What could we say? The girl played. The girl, the, the girl went to the park. There we go. The girl went to the park. If I would say, jumped over the can. Is that a sentence or a phrase? A phrase. A phrase. That's not a sentence because I do have what they did, jumped over the can, but I don't have what? Who? So who could I say jumped over the can? He jumped over the can. You see that? So this is sentence building. So we can say it, but we're going to have to learn how to write it eventually okay so i just wanted to introduce this part of the lesson to you this part of sentence writing to you what a sentence is and what a phrase is they are totally different from one another so tomorrow we'll do some more examples and we'll practice a little bit more with sentences and phrases wednesday we'll actually probably start writing and then on thursday we have a test because you'll have to identify the different the different types i mean the different ones whether it's a sentence our phrase. You'll see it on the test on Thursday, okay? So a sentence, repeat after me. A sentence, a sentence is a group of words. Is a group of words that express that express a complete thought. A complete thought. Good. A phrase. A phrase is a part is a part of a sentence. Of a sentence. Awesome. So that's the difference between a sentence and a phrase. All right. Do we get that? Yeah, no, maybe so. Yeah. You good, Ace? Any questions about that or you, you understand? I'm good. Okay, awesome. All right. So we'll do our last lesson of the day, which will be phonics. It should be pretty simple. Shouldn't be anything too complicated. We start pretty basic with phonics. Let me get the chip. Hmm. There's a this. This will be a day for the tallest. Maybe you will be able to tell us the ostrich. Because there is an ostrich. It's here. Need it. In the old park. Need it. Yeah.
All right, so let's go ahead and start with going over our alphabet sounds. Does everyone know their alphabets? Have you made it this far? You should. I already know. Yes. All right, so we'll say the letter, we'll say the sound, and then we will say the picture. So for example, with A, I would say A says ah, ah, ah in apple. Okay, we kind of we get it. Yeah. All right. So could you stand for me? All right. So let's start with A. Ready? So A says ah, 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 in apple. B A says bell. C says cat. Dog. Dog. E says F, F, F as an elephant. F says B, B, B as a fox. G says G, G, G as a fox. H says four. I said A, 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 K says cook, cook, and I says L and L says and says O says I, 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 and B says B, B, B. And violin. W says W, W, W. And wagon. X says X. And fox. Y says Y. And yarn. Z says Z. And zebra. Zebra. Awesome. So those are our alphabets. We have a total of 26 alphabets. How many? 26 alphabets. So the alphabets are split into two. We have the consonants and we have the vowels. We have 21 consonants. And the last remaining five letters are called the vowels. And that's what we're going to focus on this week are our five vowels. Now, I know because you guys are so smart and you did a great job in Ms. Walmart's class last year, I already know you know what your five vowels are. Do you? Or do I need to call Ms. Walmart and say, Ms. Walmart, they told me they didn't know. Or do you know it? We, yeah. Know. So let me hear you. So a what are the five vowels? A, a, a E, I, O, U. Awesome. A, E, I, O, and U. I didn't want to write it until you said it. But yes, A, E, O, I, and U. A, E, I, O, and U. Sorry. A, E, I, O, and U. Those are the five vowels. So we have five vowels. Now, what's special about the vowels? It's that you will always find a vowel in a word all the time. There aren't any words that are created that do not have vowels. Think about your name. Do you have vowels in your name? I do. Probably so. And some of you may have more than one in your name. Asa, do you have vowels in your name? Yes, ma'am. Yes, how many? I have one. I have two. Two. You have an A and an A. So I think I have only one person named Asa in here. So that means everyone should be sitting down. Thank you. Okay. Anybody else? So tell me, how many vowels do you have in your name? Out of the five. He, he's he's going to figure it out. Thank you. Two. You have an E and an I. Good. Micah, do you have any vowels in your name? 
Two, yep, I and A. Kendall, do you have any vowels in your name? One, E, good. Cairo, do you have vowels in your name? Three. Yes, three, A, I, and O. David, do you have vowels in your name? What are they? I and A. I and A. Elijah, do you have vowels in your name? What are they? A, O, A. Well, E, well, not, yeah, that's your last one. But yes, E, I, and A, good. Braley, do you have vowels in your name? Three, uh, an I and two E's. And some of us, well, not me, but some of you, like Asa and Elijah, your names start with vowels. Elijah starts with an E and Asa starts with an A. So, like I said, the vowels are in every single word alone. Your name alone has some. So think about words. All words have vowels. That's why the vowels are special. And that's why we practice them so much because they are important to me. Now we do have two types of vowels. We have a sharp vowel and a long vowel, but what we're gonna focus on are what we call the short vowels. Have you heard of sharp vowels before? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Yes, Asa said yes. Some people said yes. Okay. Okay, I was about to say, I don't I don't know about that. But yes, we have two kinds of vowels. We have sharp vowels and we have long vowels, but we'll focus on the sharp vowels. So sharp vowels have the short sound and they are so happy to be short. Therefore, we mark them with a smiley face because they're so happy that they're short. They're like, you know what? I am proud to be short. So therefore, I will smile about it. And so that's why we mark short vowels with the smiley face. Anybody else is short in here? I'm short, guys. I am. So therefore, the short vowels, they have smiley faces because they're like, yes, we are so happy to be short. So we will mark them with a smiley face, okay? So that means whenever I say we mark them, that means when we want to show that the vowel is short inside of a word, we mark it with what's called a smiley face. We put a smiley face right above the vowel to show that it is short. Let me show you right here what that means. So if I have a short vowel A, I put a smiley face, smiley face. Now I see I'm putting it over each one. That's how we mark the short vowels with a smiley face. One second, Asa. Play me. Sorry about that, Asa. We're just having some class management in here, but we won't have that much longer. Okay. All right. So we mark sharp vowels with a smiley face. So the vowels will say A says A. E says A, I says it, O says I, U says A. And that's why when we say A, E, E, I, A, we're saying the sound of the vowel. So let's practice the vowel sounds together. So we'll start with A. A says A, 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 in apple. He says elephant. I says in inchworm. O says ah 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 in ostrich. U says uh 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 in umbrella. Again, A says ah 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 in apple. He says eh 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 in elephant. I says it, 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 inchworm. O says ah, 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 in ostrich. U says uh, 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 in umbrella. So we say ah, again. You say it. Uh, 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 
A little faster. A A A A A A A A A A A A so you know your vowels, right? Yes. No. I know my vowels. Yes. I know the I remember my vowels. Okay. So today we are going to practice vowel E and vowel O in particular. We'll practice how to, you know, just practice some words with those vowels, okay? I know how to keep them. So yes, I'm writing in print now, but I won't for a long time. I'll just start writing in print in the beginning, but eventually I'll move to only cursive writing, okay? Okay. All right. So here we go. E and O. Oh. Oh. All right, I bet you can see. All right, so I'll ask someone to tell us the vowel, how to mark it, and they'll read the word for us, okay? So look at my first one here. Would any, we know it's vowel E, eh? So how would I mark this vowel E, eh? Thank you, Cairo, with the smiley face. And Cairo, could you tell us the word? Bet. 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 Good. Next one, we marked the vowel E short. Hey, so could you tell me this word here? Ten. Ten. Good. Ten. Good. Next one here. Smiley. Okay, yeah, but I'm going to raise our hand. But yes, Braylee, we do mark it with smiley face. E, F. What's the word? Ten. Ten. Could we all read them together? Ten. Ten. Bang. Bang. Awesome. Now let's Bang. move on to vowel O that says ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay. So our first one, how do you read it? Smiley face. Good. Can someone read the word for me, Micah? This one. Hot. 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 Good. Next one, we mark it with a smiley face. Can someone read the word, Kendall? Me. Me. Top. Good. And Asa, could you do our last one? We mark it with a smiley face. O A. What's the word? Hot. Hot. Good. Let's read them together. Hot. 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 Awesome. Good. Okay. So that is vowel E that says E and O that says A. Ah. So again, we have five vowels. What do they say? Uh, 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 and what kind of vowels are, vowels are these? Short vowels. And we mark them with a smiley face. Good. All right. So tomorrow we will move on to vowels I, U, and A, the last three. And we'll also okay. practice some other things, okay? All right, okay. so those were our first three lessons of the day. We covered our math where we did our number words and counting. We did writing, we did letter E. We learned what a sentence is and what a phrase is. And we just finished with phonics. When we meet back later on today, we will move on to our spelling. I'll introduce your spelling words to you. And um, yeah, that's kind of it because we don't have reading and science and social studies. So we'll probably have a short Zoom later, but it'll be longer later in the year, okay? All right, Asa, it was good seeing okay. you this morning. I'll see you in a little while again later on this afternoon, okay? Okay. All right, bye-bye.